What is up, YouTube? This is Haya, aka Heyway. Um, I have a little celebration to make because I have apparently reached over 100,000 streams on Spotify. I want to thank you all for making this possible. And to give you guys something back, I will create a free YouTube tutorial series in which I'm going to write a melody um, and take you guys through the entire process of finalizing this and uh, having a cool build up and a climax in a hard style fashion way so it's not going to be an entire track but of course uh, it will definitely show you how i work through all this so it's going to consist out of seven videos uh where you are currently watching at the first one and this is you know basic intro telling you why i'm doing this and then we're going to focus on writing a melody and belonging chords so Let's just uh, start right away. So, back in FL Studio, we are going to go for this. Um, I already had a melody um, in my phone. I was just searching through my phone and I found an old melody that I think is suitable for this tutorial. Uh, it's it's kind of like the Pirates of the Caribbean, but maybe a little bit different, but in that style. So um, what I always do when I'm writing melodies, I just load in a piano VST, like this one. And I write my melody, and after that I write my bass line, the belonging chords, and from there we're just going to continue with everything. So... Let's uh, let's start uh, start right away. The melody that I had in my head, by the way, was uh, so it's kind of like the Pirates of the Caribbean, but kind of different. So let's try and write this actually. Okay. So I think we have some starting keys. This way I know where I have to put the melody in. So these are not necessarily bass notes. They might be, but I will have to figure out later on. So first what we're going to do is we're going to write the entire thing in uh, piano MIDI. And after we have that, we're going to create the lead stacks. So we're going to create every top lead, main lead, uh, the chords that belong there. It acquires everything that is required in order to get this to sound full. So for now, we're just going to work with this. I won't be talking the entire way. Uh, so I'm just going to write everything. And whenever I have something to tell you, I'll do so. Okay, I'll get rid of these. 
everything to the right. It's back, so. Okay, it needs to be faster, of course, otherwise we're not gonna, you know, finish it. So let me just uh, try and do this. Huh? Maybe move this to the right a little bit, you know, so that the first kick plays here and then the melody starts here. Or like this. Okay, I'm just really trying to figure out where to start, you know, with uh, with the kicks because it has to work, of course. So the most important notes, I was just drawing them out, which are the the long ones, and now we're gonna create the steps in between to make sure that it actually is loopable. So now um, we are going to create the in between parts or the starting parts. So now we need to change the bottom part because, of course, in Hearthstone we won't be able to uh, create a bass or a kick that plays well so low. The lowest I would ever go, and it's lower than most other people would go, is a D sharp. Okay, so this definitely is too low. So we're just going to crank this up, I guess. Um, let's do an E because an E always stays powerful. So let's play it again, right? <laughs> OK, 
Okay. I think that this is pretty cool. Um, let's move this down. Maybe throw this one up. That's pretty cool as well, right? Okay, I think I'm just gonna keep it this way. So right now we have a kind of a bass line, we have a top melody. Now we're gonna write the chords that lay in between, okay? So let's get rid of this, because I know that these are gonna be the bass notes that we'll be using. First we're gonna make them uh, longer. Do not overlap, of course. Make sure that they don't overlap. Take these, make these longer as well. So now we're gonna create the chords, and chords are pretty basic. I'm gonna make very basic chords for this. Okay, so now we're gonna take these notes and take the melody, bring it up. We're gonna copy this one up exactly one octave by pressing Control arrow up. Then we're either gonna go for a minor, right? This entire thing currently is in G minor, so I think we'll, our best bet would be to copy this and copy it. Then if you go up three keys from here, you are in a minor chord per bar, is what I mean, so per each bar. And if you go up four notes, so one, two, three, four, this will be a major. And what, what we're actually doing is I'm gonna place them up three, Positions one, two, three, and listen to the sound if it sounds false or if it sounds in key. I'm also going to move it up one octave so it's a little bit better uh, to be heard. Uh -huh. So let's play this. And whenever it sounds false, you just crank it up one note. Okay, so false, one up. Let's loop it and see if it works. Sounds false. Up one. There we go. Okay, and now you want to introduce your seventh, or actually your fifth. So we're going to copy the bass line again because this literally is a copy of the bass line. Copy the bass line and move it up seven positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this will sound musically correct, okay? So I'll just play it and let you guys decide if this works or if it does not work. My ears, this works, okay? So I'm just gonna save this and we'll create a new folder, YouTube seven tutorial series, right? And say this is uh, the project. I always name my files project underscore one. So this actually was the first part because, uh, you know, technically sp speaking, we have created our melody we have created our chords, and we have created our bass line. So, I think we can just continue on to the next video. So, see you in the next video.